Welcome back to the Best Coaster of the Year weekly series. Last week, you guys voted for the Best Coaster of 2004. You voted for Stormrunner at Hershey Park, which kind of surprised me. The Intimate Accelerator over Thunderhead at Dollywood, Superman El Ultimo Escape at Mexico in Avalanche Hellcat. I, sh I always do this wrong. Avalanche Hellcat and Silver Bullet at Knott's. There, 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 there you go. Okay. Man, I'm, I just woke up. I'm really sneezy and tired. Why am I recording a video? I, you know, I don't know, man. Um, what's going on, guys? Bully Coaster here. Just just ha having a good old talk with you guys about why I believe Thunderhead and Superman and Ultimo Escape, at the very least, maybe even Avalanche Hellcat, are better than Stormrunner. Now, Stormrunner is a great ride. Absolutely a great ride. But the other rides are probably even better. Uh, I, I, Stormrunner is a short ride, yes. Great launch. You know, cool top hat. Nice airtime. A, a few good, good spots airtime. That, uh, you know, that flying snake die looks great. Um, but, uh, probably not as good as uh, that insane Morgan Hyper, you know. It's got that, that Morgan Hyper's got some insane ejector all around. Um, really hauls ass. Barely, uh, barely trims you on that, uh, on that break run, the mid-course. So, you actually get good airtime on, uh, on the second half. And it's probably better than Phantom's Revenge, even. So, th that exists. Uh, also, Thunderhead is one of the best GCIs still. Uh, and it's held up very well. Just great ride, the long ride. You know, Avalanche Hellcat is defunct, but still had some really nice airtime moments, and a lot of them at that. Silver Bullet, um, a perfectly fine beat em invert. I'm not sure if it's better than Short Runner, but, you know, it exists, and it is very nice. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to have to disagree with this one, but I'll probably disagree with this week's as well. We've got. Four, four new coasters to vote for uh, from 2005 using the island on the top recording of the video. We got uh, Superman Escape at Warner Bros. Movie World, The Intimate Accelerator, Wild Train at Fantasiana, The Pax Wild Train, Hades 360 at Mount Olympus, The Gravity Group Woody, and Powder Keg at Seven Dollar City, The SNS Air Launch. So you're going to vote for one of those four coasters using the eye on the top recording of the video. Now for some more coasters that opened in 2005. Now, this week had a lot of really nice. And, well, well, not outstanding coasters, but very good coasters. There are a lot of good coasters. Like, well, let's see, 1066 at Festiland. Not that great, actually. Kind of like a really, really short socket, socket mine train, like that, that weird French knockout company. Um, yeah, they they made several, of co several coasters in France, and that, it's a really weird short ride, but it looks to be themed very well. Uh, Formula One at Park St. Paul is w w one of those good coasters. Uh, really, really weird, like, not a wild mouse, but looks like it should be a wild, ma wild mouse. Um, got, like, a really steep lift hill, some weird-looking airtime moments, and outer bank turns, and just the weirdest freaking thing. Check out a point of view. Those things are weird. Um, G-Force at Drayton Manor closed, uh, I don't know, two years ago. Uh, it's been sitting and operating. We're wondering what's going to happen to it. Or if anything is going to replace it, or is this going to come back? I don't know. Uh, really weird malware X car, or is it, is it even called an X car coaster because it doesn't launch? But I know that the lift hill was upside down, and it's really not a comfy ride. But uh, it exists, and it's very unique, so that's cool. Height of the Revenge at Dorney Park also opened this year. One of the one of the cooler being influences to me. Uh, probably not one of the best, but uh, you know, no mid course break run got got that airtime hill. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Italian Job Stunt Track, both of those, uh, two of the three opened at King's Island in Canada's Wonderland in 2005, and uh, that is now known as Backlot Stunt Coaster. I've been on that. It's a, it's a fun little family coaster that I'm sure a lot of you have been on. Uh, Canada at Leesburg also opened this year. Uh, one of the, probably a very underrated ride. That accelerator looks great. Solid looking top hat. A few good whippy airtime moments, and uh, some cool inversions too, so... One of the very overlooked coasters, um, yeah, but but now of course it's uh, in storage somewhere in I Iowa. Apparently, I think that that new water park amusement park that's opening in like what is it Waterloo is probably gonna end up, end up opening this because they I know they bought it, so that's pretty interesting. King to Ka at Six Flags Great Adventure also opened this year. That I, I, I that's right I didn't include it in the uh, in the top four coasters. I don't know uh, if you're gonna kill me for that. I don't think it's a uh, that great of a ride, probably, but I haven't been on it. I shouldn't say anything. Anyway, uh, more 2005 coasters. We've got Raging Spirits at Tokyo Disney Sea. That's a weird Intamin looper, kind of similar to like Indiana Jones at Disneyland Paris. 
Uh, very weird ride. Uh, pretty intense loop. Just kind of kind of janky and weird, but uh, nobody ever talks about it because uh, you know Disney Park and weirdness. Rita at Alton Towers is another intimate. There's a lot of intimates this year. I just realized. Um, yeah, Rita's another not another, but an intimate accelerator that stays low to the ground as it is Alton Towers. And uh, I, I barely know anything about it. I'm not sure if it has like any nice airtime moments. I, I barely ever hear anything about it. I, I, I just hear people talk about it for no reason because they're Alton Towers fanboys. So uh, Shikara at Busch Gardens Tampa is probably still one of the best dive coasters. I, I hear it's got some of the best airtime and uh, it's, it's a very beautiful looking ride with the, those, those nice nice trains and the yeah and the splashdown and whatever. Uh, Sequoia Adventure at Gardaland. Everybody knows this. This is the SNS Scream and Swirl. Squirrel, and got that really weird hang time and extremely uncomfortable ride experience that makes for a very unique coaster, one of only two or three in the world, uh, other one being Man of War at Mysterious Island in China, and Afterburner, which I don't think is even still operating, that weird one in Russia. So, cool stuff. Sky Car at Mysterious Island, another intimate accelerator, uh, very cool layout, kind of short, but got a nice airtime hill, got that cool vertical loop. Uh, and the top hat looks like just a very middle of the road, middle of the pack accelerator coaster. Uh, Velocity at Flamingo Land also opened this year. That's one of the Vekoma motorbike coasters, similar to Booster Bike at Toverland. Pretty cool. I didn't put the hyphen there. Sorry. And uh, and yeah, so there's 2005 coasters. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. And I hope you guys checked out my uh, top 15 coasters in Michigan video. I uh, Yeah, I've, I've ridden all those now. So that's kind of neato. Uh, see you guys later.